Hi, I'm Dr. Monica Wanacott. I'm a pediatrician, mom, and creator of PediatricAnswers.com. Today we're going to discuss how to change a diaper. First, let's discuss the diaper. There's all sorts of diapers. They're all expensive, especially when you're talking six to ten in a day for, two, for the next two to three years. But some are more or less expensive just depending on what they claim to do. Some of them have little strips that change color when your infant pees. Some have little notches cut out of them that enable um, the healing belly button. Some are very narrow for your, when your infant learns to crawl and others pull up and down. They all have some commonalities. The back has an elastic and two sticky tabs. The center, which is narrower, accommodates for moving legs and has elastic. And the front is typically marked by the picture or the name of the, of the diaper brand. So, step one, undress your infant from the waist down. There are essentially two ways of changing a diaper. The first way, which is particularly good if your infant tends to be one of these, I shoot my pee or my poo, um, you're going to put the diaper underneath the infant like this. The second option is I'm going to remove the diaper completely and then slide it in. That works better for an older child. For the brand new infant, however, I prefer the slide the diaper underneath. Slide the diaper underneath your infant. Then undo the sticky tabs. In one fluid motion, you're going to use the diaper itself to take your first pass at the poop. This will make it so you don't need so many wipes. You're going to take the infant's legs in your non-dominant hand and pull them up, lifting their butt off the ground and towards their head. Then use the wipe to clean between all the folds. In a little girl, you're not going to have to get too aggressive in between her little labia. You're going to leave that little white cheesy stuff there. Then slide the diaper up and pull it up and around. You're going to want to make sure that it is smooth around her abdomen as you then use the sticky tabs on each side to secure it. The last step is to ensure that the elastic is even and not folded as it is over here. Taking an extra second or two to ensure that that happens will make it so that you don't have so many leaks and diaper failures. In the back as well, make sure that it isn't bent and it's folded or it's smooth all the way up. This will prevent what we call at our house the crap out where it goes up the, where the poop goes up the infant's back. Finally, redress the infant. Congratulations, you've successfully changed the diaper. I'm Dr. Monica Wanacott, and that's how it's done.